We're live. Hey, Chaos. Hey, Pamela. What are you How doing? How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing awesome. That's great. It is me. <laughs> me too. It's May 19th, 2016. This is our second show. And we, is it May 19th or is it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's May 19th. I'm like, I'm like lost already. I'm lost in my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> my you get your calendar, right? You get your that's calendar. right. That's right. Because my computer isn't enough calendar, apparently. I'm too, <laughs> too, too dippy. Too dippy. <laughs> I'm, busy. I'm, I'm busy playing with my microphone. Ah, I see. Can you hear me? Can you hear me when I talk like that? Yeah, I can. Really? What are you doing? What are you doing differently? I don't know. It's just I love this microphone. It's like it makes me want to for two dollars a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm sorry. Okay, I'll, I'll turn it down. I'm just having fun. Okay, so let's let's in in all reality. Um, I just want to say there's a there's a bunch of stuff going on, and I wanted to touch on it. We can always come back to the two dollars a minute thing later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just messing with you. I'm, it, it is a, it's actually really fun. This microphone picks up the strangest stuff. It's really bizarre. Anyways, really important stuff that is going on. Um, first, I wanted to just uh, touch base on Fukushima. Not so much even get into it, but I wanted to um, give a shout, out, a shout out to Lonnie Clark at Nuts for Art and for Dana Dernford. Um, and he is at thenuclearproctologist.org. Um, and they're really good. Um, they're just, they're actually the best um, places to go if you want to get information, current information, real information, not, um, not fear porn and not hype, real solid data about what's going on in your community and what's going on in the world. And Dana's out of Canada and he's actually done, um, I think 52 days he recently did on the water to taking pictures of, um, excuse me for my, <laughs> my little interruption. Uh, anyways, he, he did 52 days on the water taking pictures and doing samples of um, actual ocean life or lack thereof. And he had, he did the same thing a year before and a year before that. I, he might even do it every six months. I'm not sure. I actually found him by accident. I found him through some quantum physics thing that I was class that I was following and it just ended up being on his channel and I didn't even realize who he was. So, I mean, it's just funny how things all come together. I, I find, I, I actually find YouTube to be brilliant that way. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. You can find all kinds of stuff. But I mean, I find, I find it through happenstance. I don't even find it through yeah. looking. Yeah. If you look and look just for other things, you, you end up finding what you wanted. What you weren't expecting. You, know, you didn't even know about it. And sometimes you find stuff that's like, Wow, I ended up on the strange part of YouTube. How'd I get here? Yeah, totally. <laughs> well, yeah. And I mean, <laughs> so, um, and also, um, I wanted to also mention the thing. We talked about holistic doctors earlier today. Um, and uh, I wanted to give a little shout out and thanks to Richie from Boston for clarifying that there are actually have been 27 holistic doctors that have been murdered or we'll call it quote unquote suicided in the last year, which is not a small number that is quite a figure yeah that's a that's pretty devastating a figure right there 27 it is. yeah it certainly is devastating yes it's 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 it, let's put it this way it's not on the news at all yeah when i looked up when i was looking it up i didn't see a whole lot of articles about anything i mean the only article that i really found of substance was about the eight that happened like over a year ago that's right uh, yeah so you're saying that there's 27. 27. Um, yeah, I would definitely like a, some sources on that because I couldn't find any. Like, I think I found a couple, but it was only mentioning like one or two, you know. So I, I guess mm -hmm. you have to add them up, probably. But I don't well, know. here's, I mean, if you if you've been following it, it's a lot easier. And I actually have been following it, but I, I think that this is a topic that we we can come back to maybe tomorrow or the next day with with some real data to show all of these people. I think that yeah. that'd be the best way to do it. Cause I, I didn't prepare. I just wanted to make sure that I got that. Yeah. That you, know me, I, you know me, I love data and I don't, I don't want to definitely say anything that sure. I've been uh, vetted. So. Sure. 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 No, I, of course. Cause you're the data guy. That's right. That's you're the right. data man. Yeah, totally. 
<laughs> yeah. So um, let's see what else is going on. So I think I think you had some new stuff on your channel. Yeah. Um. No. 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 I just uh, I just was rolling out some like bundles of videos. I think that's all I did, right? I think there may have been more, but I don't want to push it. I think it might have been that there. You were clarifying a little bit of a um a racist underbelly on the. Oh. Oh on yeah. On the troll on the troll side of life. Oh yeah, I'm not going to mention any names, but um, some people that have been giving us a hard time, especially Pamela. Um, it turns out through some research from a friend and um, some of the viewers on this channel that um, one of them hates Jewish people. Um, <laughs> well, that's explicitly, convenient. Explicitly, and the other one actually mirrors uh, white supremacy videos and. No one blinks an eye about this, and that to me is all the motive that you know I need to see to understand what exactly is going on. It is not about us or about Pamela. It's about um, what everyone you know what they see her as. And I guess I guess to them she is a threat. I don't know. I can't I can't go into what they think, but I can go what they post. You know, they're on Twitter posting these kind of things. They're on YouTube posting these kind of things. Yet. Um, people who believe their their statements apparently don't care or don't know. We'll see, though. Well, it's funny. I mean, these people not only not only trolled me to Twitter, then then made videos about trolling me to Twitter and complaining that I said I'll never. I can't. I've, I've never seen anything like it. It was, um, you know, they were mad. This person was mad that I said stop stalking me. Of course, again, out of the two thousand people on my Twitter he was the only person that had something bad to say. And then he, he continued by saying that I didn't have, uh, he'd be, he went to my Facebook channels and I didn't have very much going on there. And if I wanted to buy his Facebook from him, I could. And I'm like, I'm not even on Facebook. I haven't been on Facebook in like five years. So you're not just trolling me openly and blatantly on YouTube and Twitter. You're also attempting to troll me. And I just imagine, is he trolling like my family? Because, hmm, <laughs> yeah, did that's you, pretty did, illegal. I'm just did saying. You, did you mention? Did you mention um, the children in my family and the risk to the, my children? Like there, <laughs> anyway. Yeah. You, you were telling me about a page earlier off air that you said that um, you got warned about it being. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, and they also broke. They broke into my Twitter account. They broke into my LinkedIn account. They broke into my Gmail account. They broke into my G, um, Google Plus account. All of this has been sent to me, notified that I have been, and this is all in the last few days. This is, or the last week, actually, this is not, this isn't a regular thing. I don't have any of these problems normally. And, what, and what's to notice is they've actually calmed down the past couple of days. However, as far as trying to um, gain access to her material. They haven't stopped that part. You're right. They, that, they've continued. That has increased. That has increased. However, right. their YouTube activities died down. It's, yeah, it's died down because um, I think they probably, I mean, they don't have any ammunition. Well, I, I mean, to be honest, last night at three in the morning, I'm trying to think, was it three in the morning or two in the morning? There was another, you know, another new video of mine, you know, quoting, whatever, repeating me, trolling me, whatever, yeah. um, using my voice and my face and whatever. Um, again, so I mean, yeah, they've slowed down, but I think, I, I mean, maybe they're just tired, but they're not really tired of the game. They're just tired of the show. Because people are starting, I mean, people are starting to notice. I'm catching, I'm catching, uh, you know, support from very unexpected places, which I want to just say thank you. Really, really, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. When when somebody like, for instance, 1984, out of nowhere says, you know, I, I've seen, you know, you've had your share of, of stuff go on. And I'm like, really? really? You noticed that? <laughs> thank you. And I'm a huge fan of his. Um, and... I really appreciate and you know all of the support. It means so much to me, um, and so and and I think to be honest, there's a portion of this that everybody can relate to. Everybody, we listen. We, we're all vulnerable in different ways, right? Maybe maybe the color of our skin. It may be our religion. It may be um, our sexuality. It could be anything. You know, it could be anything. We're all vulnerable. We all have vulnerabilities. At least human beings do. Trolls don't, right? Because they're just monsters. <laughs> they they don't they don't they're not feeling. They're just acting out. But so this in that way, it has been um, kind of an invitation for good people to come forward, and that is something. 
you know, that's always, that's always like the, the magic pearl in the, you know, it, th that you don't expect to get. So I really want to just acknowledge that. The, and I, and I'm going to keep acknowledging it because every time somebody comes forward and says something in support of me, even if it's private, it just means so much. And it's so unexpected. I, I never expect that, you know, I mean, I mean, I never expect it from you, to be honest with you. I'm always surprised when you, you know, when I, when I read some horrible thing or something and then, and then I see you, you know, supporting me, I'm like, Oh my gosh, thank you. That's so sweet. Because, you know, eh, whatever. I mean, it's just, it, it, it's, 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 if anyone's interested in what, in the, uh, content I was talking about, it's on my, one of my sub channels called Chaos and You. And there's also another video there that I did promise. I, I promised it that I was going to release it today. I, on one of the, um, streams yesterday, mm -hmm. um, about this. And it's, it's the person who, looks like to be a white supremacist, they are the same person who started the rumor that I worked for Professor Doom and Eric Spitfire over a month ago, was going to channels and telling people this. Well, um, he told one of my friends and I got, I got the private message and I made the video, it's out there right now, and it shows that they are, they're a liar and there, there you go, so. Well, so hang on, I just wanna, I wanna clarify about this. I think, I think, What's so bizarre about this, and, and I mean, the only reason why this is relevant to our audience is because we're not unique. I mean, you know, we can we can you know play like we're unique, but we're not. I mean, the only thing that's unique is that we're we're moving forward because I was done. I was like hiding, and I started hiding pretty quick. I was like, well, if I go away, they'll go away. You know, that's the whole premise. Bullies will go away when you when you you know when you don't give them any light, they'll go away, which is garbage. I want to say for everybody that tells me that by speaking about this, we're just giving them more power. No, you're wrong. You're wrong. Yeah, this is a special, I, this is a special case. This, yeah, this is, is not, not, yeah, this, this, is is not how, this is not how the real world works. This is yes. something totally different. Yes, yes, this is very different. This is either these, either these fools are paid or they're psychotic, but either way, quiet is not helping the situation at all. And I think, um, it's really important that we do speak out because again, we're not unique. And I guarantee you anybody in my situation that is nice and polite and tolerant of people that maybe I don't particularly like or find an interest in, anyone that does that is prey. And I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm saying it can happen and it may happen and it very likely will happen. But it, I'm not saying it's a guarantee. It's just all I did to these people was be tolerant of people that I would not normally, you know, have anything to do with. And, and even this one person that's, you know, coming out as a, right, as a white supremacist, he, he, he seeked me out. He asked for my help, no matter how many times he lies about it. I don't care. He can say whatever he wants. He still did this. And I mean, and, and the thing is, is I met, I met you just about the same time. I mean, I think I met you maybe, I, I had sent you um, a, a message the day before or something. I just found your site. And I mean, we're, we're pretty new. I think it's been a few months that we've known each other. And, and I met him like the day before or the day after or something like that. So in real time, you were actually seeing my responses, even though we didn't know each other well, and you didn't, you know, we didn't necessarily trust each other. I don't have big issues with trust. I, I trust pretty much everybody until they prove me um, wrong, which, you know, on YouTube is not, the anyone, anyone, anyone who know who's seen my channel knows that um, my interactions with uh, viewers will be extremely limited, limited. Until, yeah, limited. <laughs> until I actually uh, notice that you know they're not a troll or they actually you know aren't about to make some kind of extremely abusive comment or something like that because that's the things you have to gauge because there are people who will make comments and they'll be you know neutral or positive but they're really trying to sucker you in just so they can really lay, lay into you or they're going to troll you. Yeah. Well, I, I wish, I wish we'd had this lesson <laughs> before, <laughs> which is so funny. Cause I remember saying to you, no, 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 they're nice. No, 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 they're nice. No, that's they're not harmless. Like, no. And you're like, no, 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 I don't, I don't agree with you. I don't agree with you. <laughs> yeah. And you were right. Okay. So anyways, um, okay. So that, that's that. Um, I mean, did you have more on that? Um, no, not at this time. Anyways, I want to thank you for putting those, those videos out. I didn't, I didn't know they were coming and I want to thank you. Um, I think putting light, shining light on, um, on grossness and, and actually um, there might be one more coming out, but oh, good. Not, not, not in the immediate, um, future. Yeah. Not in the immediate future. Cause I was thinking about some, inf some, some Intel, 
<laughs> yes, right. Some intel that was uh, passed my way. It was passed my way yesterday. I got some intel. Some intel. Some yeah, intel? Yeah, some Wait, intel. intelligence? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Wait, or is it the company intel? Which? Wait, hold on. Is it Intel Corporation or is it intelligence as in undercover information gathering? Which one is it? I'm just I really, curious. I really don't know. I don't know. I know. Yeah. Okay, I guess, so. I guess those people just have to wonder, you know. The yeah. Audience, in whoever's intel. Listening. Intel. Intel. That rings a bell, doesn't it? Is that like a, a big blue company? The big blue company, right? Intel Corporation. <laughs> Maybe. Wow. There's a thought. Wait a second. So are you telling me you're working with Intel Corporation now? Or I'm working with Intel just, you know, in general terms. So. But you're not an undercover, you know, intelligence oh. officer. Oh, I have no idea. Maybe I am. <laughs> I thought it was an agent. I thought it was There's, an agent. Or are you an agent too? Oh, my God. You leave so much out. Can I just tell you that I a, find I'm paranoia BLM. to be hysterically BLM. funny? I heard I was Mossad the other day. Oh, my gosh. Mossad? Are you Israeli? I think I am. I think I am. Wow. You did not, you do not come across as an Israeli person. And I am pretty well versed in Israeli. And you that do makes not. Me, that makes me so perfect to be Massad, though, because no one would know. <laughs> That's I mean, hilarious. Because you know what, Massad? I mean, infiltrate listen, YouTube, but no one would know. Listen, right? Massad gets busted all the time. Everybody knows that. Masad, I'm, spe like, I'm special agent or something, you know? For Massad. Yeah. Well, hold on. So Massad's been around for what, 60 years? 70 years now yeah. and they've never been caught doing anything except for the people that witnessed stuff or so they said they did for 9-11 as hearsay. a convenient <laughs> hearsay yeah. what? hearsay right hearsay. Well, wait, hearsay upon hearsay upon hearsay so it's hearsay repeated that never actually happened but they keep repeating it over and over and over and it makes Israel the blame for everything wrong in the United States oh my god I figured it out that's it right there Done. Yeah, that was actually repeated on a live stream by uh, <laughs> by um, which which is very curious who was on that live stream. I can't name it, but um, if you actually monitor what's going on in YouTube, like there's this war going on, and they actually had a member of each side, and then they had this guy who was admitted racist who was like hosting it, and and for some reason all they wanted to talk about was me, me and Pamela, but they were talking about me specifically. When was this? And I missed this completely. I don't even know what you're talking about. What, I got it from Intel, you know. Just the Intel was telling me all all this stuff, and yeah, I'm, I'm Mossad. So I'm Mossad, BLM, JTTF. I'm an FBI agent. I'm a disinfo, disinfo agent. And what else? Oh yeah, I'm a cop as well. Dude, and you know what? I take I take personal insult to the JTTF because that was mine, and I'm really sorry. Okay, I actually, just that was actually that was someone else. You know who it is? That was the person who's the crackhead, right? Yeah. He called you JTTF too. Yeah, him. He has a video. A, <laughs> if, if you put if you put in my name, he, his his video will come up, and he'll say GTTS. You know I think that's actually why I asked you that. I think that's why I asked you that originally. I think I saw. I think I looked you up. I was like, wait a second, who is? So you know, this is actually an, an interesting thing in that if you go to to research somebody, because so I was like, is this guy okay? You know, he's getting all this information. He's getting all of these these court documents. So then I looked you up, and I found this kooky guy. This was like I just want to say this crackhead guy who <laughs> had all these this information on you and I see now I understand that's how people can believe stuff because I was like is he telling the truth is that right and then I asked you but I just I just go right to the source it's a lot easier to get to information from people when you just ask them oh yeah I work for DARPA too no, and a monarch no. and a monarch <laughs> I, I'm telling you the things I've heard I'm I work dude for DARPA you must be in a lot of trouble because <laughs> these are conflicting agencies. <laughs> I know. It's just I'm a double agent. There you go. Dude, stop it. You're not. You're just. You're mine. <laughs> you're mine. You're just. No, you're mine I'm, I'm every, agent. I'm everybody's. I'm, I'm all these things. <laughs> I'm, my, my 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 paycheck in retirement is secure, right? Because all these agencies. <laughs> Jeez, you must have a really good. Oh, that's what's going. Okay. Oh, oh! I saw that link. I saw that link. <laughs> I saw where you went there. Yeah. <laughs> that's interesting. Well, hold on. Let me see if I can turn my gain up really quick again. Hold on. So uh -oh. two dollars a minute. Oh my god. <laughs> hold on. For two dollars a minute, you too can be a DARPA agent. <laughs> that voice is oh my god, that's hilarious. It's so funny. It's so wrong. Okay, so it isn't it wrong? It's very wrong. It's very wrong. For for two dollars a minute, <laughs> you too 
can be a JTTF or DARPA or whatever you want. You can go around the world. <laughs> okay, that's the end of that. Okay, so that's God, reality. That's back to reality. What's reality? I, I'm, I'm totally lost. It. I don't even know. Uh, what yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, about. I was. It, I actually. I find that to be really entertaining. Like, I can't even believe the way that sounds. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> okay, so we got the holistic doctors down. Um, there's a lot of bathroom stuff going around, and I, I want to. Can I just do another shout out? Do you mind if I just do another shout out? Oh, go ahead. I don't care. Okay, I want to give some props to Jason Rogash because. <laughs> While he didn't have all of the information at hand in his most recent interview, I mean his most recent video about um, the bathroom problems that we're having in this country, the pit the piddle, the piddle problems, I applaud him so aggressively for not participating in politically correct conversation. And I and I, I actually think, and I'm not gonna get into my age because I'm only 15, but um I, it could be that it could be that that he and I are the same age or something. I find like almost across the board, people that are my age like have a certain language that includes a lot of swearing and a lot of plain talk. And I don't know what it is, but I find it so invigorating because we have been so overrun with this ridiculous, ridiculous politically correct speak that puts us all into this compromised conversation. It's like it's like. First of all, the bathroom situation is not a slight on gays or transgenders, actually. It has nothing to do with it. And this isn't, I'm not aiming that at, at Jason. I applaud him. I don't even care what he says. The fact that he says it, he says it blatantly. He doesn't hold anything back. He's not, he doesn't have any hate for anybody. He's basically saying, if you hate transgenders, if you hate homosexuals, if you hate gay and lesbians, whatever, then you have a problem. I mean, that's really what he says in his video. And I, and he's right. If you're hung up on transgenders or gays, you have a problem. That is not their problem. That is your problem. I don't care what religion you are, what race you are, what creed. I don't care. You have a problem. And I mean, wouldn't you agree with that? Yeah, it's. I mean, everyone's it's, everyone should be able to do whatever they want. I believe. I mean, regardless of religion or whatever. Um, but the problem. I think the problem everyone's seeing with the whole issue was just because the majority is being forced to accommodate a small, small minority and basically disrupt everyone's world. In right? addition, right. And in addition to that, this is not an existing problem that our society has. The problem is this is an agenda. This yeah. is an agenda. The problem is, is like little kids in elementary school, junior high and high school should not have bathrooms that are that are gender neutral. They should not have changing rooms that are gender neutral. That is an actual problem that they're creating because children are discovering their bodies and their sexuality every day that they get older. So if you put them in a situation that is sexually compromising or sexually invigorating, let's say, it is going to impact children. It is going to mess them up and it is going to make, look, boys, we all know that when boys start to go through puberty, they become aggressive. I mean, it's, it's a physical change. It's a physical transformation. This is not complicated stuff. This has nothing to do with transgender. It has nothing to do with anything except for hormones. You, you take little boys as, you know, as their sexuality is coming you know, up in their bodies, they start to have impulse control problems and all kinds of things that, that, that they have to, that have to be, it's like, it has to be moderated within their bodies, within their families, whatever. So when you take that, that the sexuality that is physical and hormonal and you put it into an, an a, a, a gender neutral situation or a gender fluid situation you it is it is creating a generation of sexual rampant um deviants yeah it's going to be deviant and it's going to be assaulting and it's going to be um it's going to it's it's going to affect little girls in very bad ways and it's good it's, i would even say it's going to affect little boys in very bad ways it's just not healthy you want to give them you know having a sense of um it's destroying honor. childhood it's destroying childhood it's right. making every every like child just making them giving them adult issues and, and adult and, issues and when, they they're, can't when they're not it. ready they can't, they can't handle it yet yeah. they can't handle it there's no way little little i mean these are little kids they're little kids with little psychological makeup they can't 
process that. There's absolutely no way. So, I mean, the, I mean, but again, I just want to go back. Jason Rogash, you rock. You, you rock for saying it straight up. But aside from that, this is a real issue in that we need to protect our children. And, you know, I think all of these things are detrimental to a basically civilized society. You know, we've never had issues. Like, have you ever read a story about, oh, these girls were going crazy because some manly looking woman went into the restroom? That never happened. That doesn't happen. Women do not even pay attention to other women in the bathroom unless they're like, like I make friends in the bathroom. Personally, I've been famous for this since I was very little. <laughs> I go into the bathroom, I come out with a new friend. I'm like, hey, what's going on? You know, but <laughs> that's not normal. And actually, it is not sexual. And in men's bathrooms, they do have sexual problems. They do, you know, like I... I'm not going to tell the story. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> I don't know is that, they, that there, there are things that go on in men's bathrooms, like in, you know, in malls and stuff like that, um, that are, you know, not so good. Um, but again, it's about civilized society and the third world push and third world countries aren't considered civilized. And actually I've been to third world countries and they're pretty civilized, but but all of these issues are dragging us down out of first world status. And that's what they're, that's what the agenda is about. It's about yeah. deviating our, right? And taking away- The agenda, the agenda is about the next generation. That's what it's really that's about. That's right. And it's about making sure that we don't have boundaries and clarity and honor and um, self-preservation. I mean, it's really about deteriorating the ability of our, ch our children and our, our future children and our current children deteriorating their ability to make distinctions and have boundaries and clear minds and clear thinking. And that's not right. Yeah, it's, this is all, in my opinion, like I just said, it's about the next generation, but also it's about um, disarming um, the family and that now you're going to take the orders, you're going to take your morality and you're going right. to throw it, you're going to throw it away. Yeah. yeah, you're going to, you're going to throw away whatever you had and you're going to just take the orders from the state. This is part of, uh, you know, uh, like, you know, like you hear about command, like a command economy. Well, this is like a command society now. What's a command economy? Well, you know, like, like, a, like, 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 like a centralized economy, like in communism or in, or in okay. socialism. Absolutely. Well, it, it's going to be, you know, centralized society or a command society where you get everything from the state. You learn everything from the state as far as how you should behave and what is right and wrong instead of learning that from, you know, mother and father or, or a community. Sure. So. Yeah. So not to, uh, not to digress, but um, I wanted to just talk a little bit about um, Bernie Sanders, who is the nice Jewish uh, grandfather that nobody has. And I, you know, I'm a fan of Danny Sanders in that I do not want him to be president, but I do think that he is the only decent <laughs> a candidate running so far that to our, to our, you know, to, to the naked eye, he is the only, uh, listen, I, I, I just want to, I want to stick. Is, 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 is this about hypocrisy? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so here's the thing with Bernie Sanders. Like I am a fan in that he is the only person that speaks, um, in ways that seem decent, literally decent. Every every other candidate so far is just batshit crazy. I mean, like with Donald Trump, you're, it's, it's like, listen, he's honest today, but he's still Donald Trump, right? He's still Donald Trump. I mean, I don't I don't understand why everybody's forgotten. But I mean, we do have a a society that is just saturated with aluminum, and that uh, you know adds to a very short memory. But he <laughs> is Donald Trump, and a billionaire, and in the pocket of the United Nations, aka the Rockefellers. And I, I preach this all day long, every day. The Rockefeller family is the Federal Reserve. It is the United Nations, the World Health Organization, UNESCO, and on and on and on and on and on. Everything bad in the world comes from the United Nations and the Rockefeller family. So, you know, the American Medical Association and blah, blah, blah. So that being said, I am not a fan of any of the candidates. I am actually, I wouldn't vote for the any for this election for all the tea in China. But uh, while Bernie is the only decent candidate it turns out that his wife was the 
president of, I think, Vermont, a college in Vermont. One of the, there I, you go. There yeah, you I go. can't think of the name of the, the, the college. I, it, it's escaping me because I'm just like, I'm so completely just like, I can't <laughs> even believe what I'm seeing. So as it turns out, his wife got a loan for this uh, private college and um, for, I think, $10 million a loan saying that that she had the backing and the contributions that were were promised and of course there were only a couple hundred thousand dollars in contributions that were ever retained the the the, the college is now going bankrupt and all the students have to find new schools and she got a severance package in 2012 after bankrupting the college for two hundred thousand dollars not to be repaid and is now off and that is bernie sanders wife the exact kind of person that he goes after. <laughs> the exact kind of person that Bernie Sanders professes to go after. Go after, yes. And the thing is, is I've watched a lot of stuff on Bernie Sanders, and he has been very outspoken about um, decency. You know, I mean, like even when it comes to our food source and going after um, uh, hormones and milk and all. I mean, he he definitely has done a lot of things. One of the, okay, so. I know this kind of seems like like I'm, I'm skirting the issue, but I'm not. What I've noticed in, in a lot of our Congress and our Senate and in and, and our meetings, you know, when, when they have all of these, they're, they're like, you know, the Senate or the Congress courtroom, basically, where they're like attacking each other and demanding answers and demanding da 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 da. And there's actually no fallout. They do, they do, they do these shows where they're like demanding and making statements and they want to stand up for things, but nothing ever comes of it. They don't actually have any, any results or anything. Nobody ever gets in trouble. Nobody, I mean, you know, so, so while I see, he has definitely said and done the right stuff and I've seen him do some amazing things, none of them ever have results. None of them. I don't see, I, I'm, and I'm not, I'm serious. Like, well, so, well, since we're talking about politics, let's let me get say this because I've never, I have never said it before, and I'm going to say it now so everyone knows exactly where I stand. I have never voted. I will never vote ever. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't, I don't. I don't like. I don't like Donald Trump. I don't like Bernie Sanders. I don't like Hillary Clinton. I don't like any of those people. They're all a bunch of scumbags. They are scumbags. I don't believe in the in the political system. I do not believe um, that the Constitution, as far as how presidents are elected, is just. Uh, or right. I don't believe that the Electoral Congress is the body that actually elects the, the president, not the people. I don't believe in that either. And that's why I don't vote, because I think it's all rigged and a bunch of BS. So there you go. If you, everyone everyone asks me, well, it's always been that way. It's it's always had no, the electoral, it hasn't always. electoral no, it Congress. Hasn't. No. The Electoral Congress has always been that way. And they've actually, in the past, have elected a president that went against um, their actual... Um, yes. When in the past did they do that before? It was... Oh no! no it, was a long, it was a long time ago. Long, long time who, ago. Who, 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 who? I don't. I don't remember, but it, it existed. There's a president. Okay. I believe you. Yep. All I can say is I've. You know, when I, I. I mean, I've talked about this since the beginning of our show. When I was little, I remember looking at the TV and saying, "You know, my my parents were like my dad was like a devout Republican, and my mom was an independent." And I remember I was really little, like I was like two or something, and I was like, "Why are you even paying attention to these liars?" Like. <laughs> <laughs> it was so obvious. I mean, because, you know, little, kids are really simple, right? We don't have baggage. We, when you're little, you don't have rationalizations. You have simple. Everything's very simple. Things are either yay or nay. And I'm kind of still like that. But, I mean, now I have rationalizations on board. Yay. <laughs> <It's not laughs> a good thing. But anyways, I've also got guilt and shame and stuff. But, but anyways, so, I mean, I recognized it when I was so little. And, and it never went away. I was never lost on me. I was always like, but they're really kind of just lying i knew i knew when i was in uh was it civics seventh grade civics class and i actually paid attention that it was all bs because we actually had to um i think reenact some uh you know some of the actual political things in class it was okay. weird but we did and it, and it just dawned on me it was like wow so um None of this actually really matters when people say go out to vote for like you know a presidential election now local elections and all that that does matter uh, yes, and does, we, yeah. That that is serious stuff. But presidential, see, they 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 take that power away from the people. It's, it's it, yeah, and people are like, you know, vote or die, and all that, all that, well, all those say, slogans, stupidity. Well, they say you don't have it. You don't get to. You don't. Get it's to because they want they, they want the consent of the people. That's they're not gonna right. let you. They're not gonna let you vote. They're well, not gonna let you the pick deal. them. Like what people say is, and I find this to be one of the most insulting things ever. Is when people say, if you don't vote, you don't get to have an opinion, and it's like, 
Yeah, Are you right. really that stupid that you actually believe that right. your vote is actually impacting this world? But I mean, the whole point of us voting is not to pick anything. The reason why we vote is so that our controllers, Consent. our controllers let us or make us believe. That's why there's so much drama. During, that's why they start now a year in advance with this ridiculous hype of garbage with these elections. These, I mean, they've become more comical every year, every year. And the whole idea is if we become involved emotionally, if we take a stand emotionally, we will feel responsible for the outcome. If we feel responsible for the outcome, we will feel guilty, we will feel shame, we will feel regret, and we will take responsibility for this outcome, whether it's ours or not. And I'm here to say, it is not our outcome. We don't have a choice. We don't get to pick our, 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 our uh, candidates and we don't get to pick our president, not anymore. And I, maybe we never did, but I mean, I think sometimes we did. I mean, you wanna see where, I mean, isn't it, isn't it Greece where democracy all started and they voted consistently against, um, you know, all those like paying back the bailouts and doing those um, austerity measures? And what happened? And what happened? They got them. They got them anyway. Exactly. And that's where that was the birth of democracy. And look what happened. It's there totally you go. That's yeah. that. That That is nice. the epitome. That is the epitome of of your voting system right there. And as soon as you were as soon as you recognize that. Maybe we could actually change the country. But until then, it's all a bunch of BS. It is. It kind of is. I'm sad to say it, but it is. You know, we should call this show "It's All a Bunch of BS." <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I got kind of uh, high strung. Excited. And, and <laughs> oh, because I'm really passionate about um, the stupidity of politics and how much people take it to heart and actually think they're making a difference. Local, yes. Not, not national. You, that's a freaking joke. It's a freaking <laughs> joke. It's political theater. It's a, it's, a, it's a reality show. Okay, so I, I, I want to just, oh my God, totally, it is a reality show. So a um, couple things. Um, it is, it's become, it's a, it's a new new propaganda thing that's being um, let out on the news. I don't, I don't actually watch the news. I'm actually, I'm practicing something new. So if you guys find me to be an idiot, it's okay. Because I don't watch the news ever. So I've decided this year, this I'm not kidding you. I literally don't watch the news ever. Any bit of information I get, I have to research. I have to find it. And, and the thing is, I figure if there is a storm, if there is um, an upset, I will find it on one of the. I, I have I have definitely been able to seek out very good sources. But you can get stuff if there's an emergency. It's on Twitter, right? If something happens right now, it's on Twitter um, or or YouTube. And I I literally will not watch the news. And it's 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 like a trial thing. I want to see because I. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, and, and I, I, I think you are. I may have mentioned this before. God, I'm kind of jittery. I had a lot of caffeine. I'm like, ah. Oh, yes. I know. Right? Yeah, yep. a lot of caffeine. So anyway, um, oh, my God. I'm totally like, oof. Um, but um, anyways, the point is, is on the news, What I, I think the last thing I ever saw on the news, which was like my fine, I was like, I'm never going to do this. I mean, besides the fact that the news has um, a hypnotic – trance uh induction that that goes on at the beginning and the end of every single thing that they talk about where it like counts up and it counts down and has sigil yeah. sigil um mnemonic um symbols in there and it, it has yeah. a whole psychological um, mesmerizing effect on people it's, it's not even it's not even disinfo anymore it's just pure propaganda that's oh, yeah. all it is well, well yeah exactly and one of the things that i saw that really freaked me out was when they started saying things on the news like you know <laughs> this is like my favorite. You know, or should I go? Should I go into the other voice? Hold on. <laughs> you know, you know, a little bit of a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of radiation is good for your mind. A wow. little bit of radiation is good for your body, and that's not true. <laughs> uh, I like, like the classic one where when they want to spread complete lies, they say. Well, um, what do you think when uh, some people say uh, right. blah, 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 that they some know people say right. is like their favorite way, you know, or is this a big lie, lie coming. coming? Yeah. So. Well, their new thing is, I mean, that's the whole thing. Remember when they, they used to actually have sources that they they quoted sources? sources. 
Yeah, they don't have sources do remember, anymore. Do you remember all those nine eleven sources right when nine eleven was happening? <laughs> they just had some random guy and he said it was he was an agent or something. And he was just he already knew everything that happened. Oh yeah, Bin Laden was uh, in a cave bin and he Laden, just did yeah. it. Oh, the the building stole on fire, but yeah, he definitely did it. And uh, yeah, we've been we're going him. after. We're, we're going to go um, to another whole country altogether uh, that has nothing to do with anything. Who, who is this source? Oh, oh, he's gone already. I don't know. You know that's well, how that's you know, how it works. When I saw nine eleven. I was with my best friend, right? I was with my best friend. She she like raced over to my house. We were like, ah, I think we we're going to work out or something at Gold Gym or something. And uh, we were both like, oh my God. And I called my boyfriend at the time. He was a police officer. And he said, don't worry, go to the gym. You don't need to worry about this. I swear <laughs> to God. He actually said that to me. I swear. And I was like, seriously? And he's like, seriously, nothing's going on. Don't worry about it. Just go to the gym. Lose some weight, fatty. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, this is a funny show. Uh, okay. So anyhow, um, <laughs> when we watched it, I remember at the end of that day, I and mean, we actually, we went out for lunch or something. We went to go run an errand and, and we were, somebody hit us like, like we were rear ended. And this poor man, he was so nice. He was in like a, a VW, um, uh, uh, van you know one of those old vw vans yeah yeah, yeah. Was so nice but he was completely freaked out about about the towers as we were and he hit he hit her car and and we were like don't worry it's okay it's okay it's okay and he was like i'm so sorry i'm so upset i'm so sorry and you know it was like we were all so flustered and at the end of the day i just kept saying what about the pentagon how come we never saw pictures of the pentagon and her her brother and her father were both um pilots for united i think yeah, United. And she said, oh, no, 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 that's about security. And I was like, no, it's not. They keep saying it was hit. It doesn't matter. They, they, they're they saying it's hit, but they never showed pictures. Well, you know, it's, so it's all these years later. And people, I even like maybe last year, um, somebody said to me, well, of course they showed pictures of the Pentagon. And I'm like, no, they didn't. They never showed. But I have a great memory, right? And, and I was like, and they had passports. Right, yeah, they have passports yeah. on the ground, and they're like, "No, that never happened." I'm like, "Yeah, it did. Oh, yeah, it did." But people don't remember stuff. And then the other day, I saw a, um, a video of a guy that's literally taking donations to buy a 747 in Taiwan to remote control fly into a building like the twin towers which no buildings exist like the twin towers that are all metal and cement but that's beside the point he wants to dispel all possible consideration that it didn't happen he wants to prove that it could have happened and what and what it would look like and he's taking donations to buy a 747 that is about to go out of service to remotely control it to fly into a building in Taiwan that is a building that is going to go down. <laughs> wow. Is that crazy? I don't mean... <laughs> I hope he does it. I'll be interested. Yeah, hope they I, film it, you know. Everything. Yeah, I can't wait. That HD, awesome. everything. No, the yeah. whole... Yeah, let's bring, bring it on, buddy. Bring it on. Let's see. <laughs> let's see the miracle happen. <laughs> Since no other building in all in, in all of history ever has ever 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 burned down from a fire from a jetliner that doesn't get hot enough to burn steel ever in all of history ever. And what what about the uh, building seven? Didn't even get hit. Just had some fire on it. Hey, you know what? Fires jump. Duh. And and the building just falls to its falls to pieces in its own footprint. Everybody knows that. Yeah, it looks just like a controlled demolition. And 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 the, and the guy who owned the lease said, "Pull it." Wow. Okay. Give me a break. Give yeah. me a break. Of course it happens. You know what? Don't bring chemistry, biology. Don't bring it in. I don't want any chemistry yeah. involved. I don't want any facts. I don't want any figures. Yep. I don't want any numbers. Stop it. Just stay by the book. You know that book they released. Yeah. Just stay stick stay stick to that. Stick to the nine eleven lie. <laughs> Yep, there you go. Where, where, oh they, where, where, they, where they don't even mention uh, Building 7 at all, you know? Yeah, well. And, where, and where they also admitted, um, uh, what is that country? Saudi, uh, I can't remember. Oh, Saudi Arabia, Saudi, right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, those 27, the 27 not, pages? Is that what no, it was, 27 pages? I think oh, it's 18 I pages, isn't it? I, I, I can't remember. It's so dude, many. It was dude, so many pages. Bring, if you're going to bring Saudi Arabia into it, then you can't blame it on Israel. That's going to screw up everybody on YouTube. Stop it. Oh yeah, then you have to hate someone else, wouldn't they? Then you gotta hate oh. somebody else. And here's the thing. But that would mess up that would mess up OPEC, wouldn't it? Oh yeah. Okay. Never no, mind. I, never mind. Never mind. No, okay, we're going too far. Here's we're going deal. too far. No, I'm going too far. <laughs> too much sarcasm in one show. It's just crazy. Here's, the deal. here's the deal. If you just get this one niblet out of this show, don't bother hating a whole country for anything. Cause it just makes you stupid. 
that's my I think that's a good uh, that's a good uh, endpoint right there. I think. I think right. so. I'm good. Yeah. No, okay, so let's say that one more time. Okay, don't bother hating a whole country for any reason because it makes you look stupid. Because a whole country can't be blamed for anything, least of all the United States of America, and that's really the bottom line. All right, and that, with that said. Until next time, you guys. Until next time. We'll see you Later. then. Later. Later. <laughs>